Apophis, an asteroid that became well known in 2004 as a potential threat to Earth. The near-Earth object, also known as Asteroid 99942, is estimated to be around 1,100 feet or 340 meters across. If it were to strike the Earth, it might cause serious damage to the planet's surface. Will Apophis strike Earth in 2029? And if so, where will it hit? Can it cause human extinction? Join us today to find out. Scientists at NASA estimate that this asteroid is a representative of roughly 2,000 identified potentially hazardous asteroids, or asteroids that have the potential to impact with Earth and cause damage. NASA reports that while Apophis will pass Earth harmlessly, it will pass very near to it at a distance of around 19,000 miles or 31,000 kilometers above the surface. According to NASA, this is the distance at which some spacecraft are orbiting the planet. In less than a minute, the asteroid will cross the distance of the full moon and become as bright as the stars in the sky. But if NASA and other space agencies don't want us to freak out about asteroids colliding with Earth, why do they give them names like Apophis? The god of chaos in ancient Egypt was called Apophis. He was an evil serpent, an enemy of light and truth, who lived in endless darkness. People were anxious when they found out that an asteroid known as Apophis was going to pass near to Earth in 2029. After all, roughly 15.6 million years ago, an asteroid with a diameter of 15 kilometers, known as Chicxulub, collided with Earth, causing a major extinction that wiped out 75% of the plant and animal species on the planet, as well as the majority of dinosaurs. The diameter of the largest asteroid in the solar system is 945 kilometers, Astronomers Roy A. Tucker, David J. Tholen, and Fabrizio Bernardi made the discovery of Apophis on June 19, 2004 at Arizona's Kitt Peak National Observatory. Specifically, they were searching for objects that pointed towards the sun. The asteroid they discovered was first identified as 2004 MN4. It was 57 degrees from the sun unusually close for an asteroid. However, scientists soon realized that this asteroid was unique. Apophis completes one orbit of the Sun in less than one Earth year, taking 323.6 days. Earth takes 365.3 days. And Apophis gets nearly as close to the Sun as the planet Venus, then heads out to just beyond Earth's orbit. During its orbit, Apophis may approach extremely close to Earth. This fact quickly caught the attention of astronomers worldwide. By December 2004, they had gathered enough information to estimate the asteroid's future orbit. They also discovered that it had a 2.7% chance of striking Earth on Friday the 13th of April, 2029. Apophis moved to the top of the list of asteroids that could be dangerous in the same month. Although Apophis has been investigated, no one has observed it up close. Because it is an S-type asteroid, its chemical composition is silicious, or stony, as opposed to carbonaceous. S-types make up about 17% of asteroids. Apophis and other S-type asteroids are common in the inner solar system, but rare outside of it. During its 2029 approach, the asteroid will also be visible to the naked eye in the Southern Hemisphere. It will be visible from Australia's east to west coasts. According to the asteroid's trajectory, it will next pass over the Indian Ocean before crossing the equator and passing over Africa by midday in the U.S. east coast. It is still traveling west. 
Apophis will be over the Atlantic Ocean just before 6 p.m. at closest approach, and it will have crossed over the United States by 7 p.m. That day, the asteroid will be roughly 38,000 kilometers away from Earth. It will then be impacted by the gravitational pull of the Sun, Moon, and Earth. It will also be exposed to the pressure of solar radiation. Recent observations indicate that it will be so close that tidal forces will likely affect both its surface and axis of rotation as a result of Earth's gravitational pull. Astronomers estimate the level of risk an asteroid or comet poses to Earth over the next 100 years using a color-coded warning system known as the Torino Scale. None of the nearly 30,000 near-Earth objects that are known to exist in the solar system have ranked higher than one on the 0 to 10 scale since the scale's adoption in 1999. Apophis was a 4. An asteroid's orbit gets more clearly defined the longer scientists track it. Scientists were able to rule out the probability of a 2029 strike in a matter of months. But what will happen if Apophis hit Earth? Apophis mass is estimated to be 26.99 billion kilograms, and its estimated diameter is 885 feet, or the same as the Eiffel Tower. Here's a real-world example of what all those data imply if you don't understand them. It is estimated that the asteroid that created Arizona's meteor crater erupted with a force of 3 to 10 megatons of energy. If Apophis were to strike, it would probably release 880 megatons of energy. In comparison, the Hiroshima atomic bomb only discharged roughly 0.15 megatons of energy. The asteroid would instantly kill tens or hundreds of thousands of people with its initial impact and millions more with the shockwave and debris that would follow, causing tremendous destruction wherever it struck. Millions of people will die if it hits a large city like London. Intense heat radiation, strong ground tremors, and atmospheric shockwaves are just a few of the horrifying side effects that might result from this. Researchers calculate that the energy released by an asteroid impacting Earth at 72,000 kilometers per hour, which is the typical speed of asteroid impacts, would be approximately 10 billion joules, a million times more energy than the bombs dropped on Hiroshima, and roughly 100,000 times more energy than the Chelyabinsk meteor. Luckily, there is little chance that it will strike a populated region, the likelihood of it reaching land is quite low, given that the oceans encircle over 75% of the Earth's surface. Therefore, Apophis would most likely land in the ocean based on data, but landing in ocean will not be good for us. When Apophis strikes the ocean, it will cause ripples to appear in all directions, and those rippling effects will probably result in destructive tsunamis across several continents. The death toll might be unthinkable, given that a substantial portion of humanity resides in coastal cities. Just to give one example, scientist Neil deGrasse Tyson warned that the west coast of North America might be completely destroyed by a tsunami or series of tsunamis caused by Apophis landing in the Pacific Ocean. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory Center for Near-Earth Object Studies keeps track of every known near-Earth objects and its likelihood of impact so that we can take immediate action if necessary. Assuming that our updated estimates place Apophis squarely in the it's coming for a visit category and that we have years to get ready and lessen the effects, what could we do? We might change an asteroid the size of Apophis so that it misses Earth if we had enough warning time before impact which would be many years, but this would require a coordinated global effort. But thanks to the observations of Apophis's orbit during a distant flyby in March 2021, led astronomers to conclude that the asteroid poses no threat for at least the next century. Starting in April 2029, 
shortly before the asteroid approaches Earth closely. NASA's OSIRIS mission will investigate the asteroid for 18 months. In order to learn more about what's beneath the surface of Apophis, OSIRIS Apex will investigate how Apophis's rotation rate and surface characteristics are affected by Earth's gravity. We will learn more about asteroids like Apophis from the mission, including how to divert one that is headed straight for Earth. The scientific astronomy community is planning to launch a comprehensive observational effort that will begin in 2029 and continue until Apophis arrives. So will amateurs. Some of the powerful telescopes that are now being built will be operational by 2029. We have much to learn about asteroids, and this close encounter presents an opportunity that should not be missed. Earth will always be at risk from asteroids, and the better we understand them, the better we can deal with them. At this point, Apophis is in a region of the sky that is not observable from Earth. That is how it will stay until 2029, when we see it again. Hopefully, Apophis will securely fly through Earth in seven years. Everyone should, must see this eagerly awaited event. What do you think? What is the chances that Apophis will hit Earth? Comment down below your views about it and don't forget to subscribe our channel for more interesting space-related content. Thanks for watching.